Big donkey bitch ass eating six to Beautiful! Nothing but penguins as far as the eye can see. You're insane! You just don't understand the beauty of the penguin. They're so aerodynamically perfect. Can't you see it? The shape, the smell, the taste of penguins. Penguins! Penguins! What is up, boys? This is your boy Nisho here, and today I got some breaking news for you guys. This is urgent, alright? Penguins have just topped locals, right? This is not something that should be happening, okay? This is the, the world is freezing over. Trump is president, okay? World, we're on the brink of World War III, okay? Penguins are topping locals. The world is going down, my boy, all right? <laughs> so, at this point, let's just get straight into the deck profile. The, the deck profile that dominated its, its locals at sixth place. Yeah, sixth place, not, not even first, not second, not third. Six. All right. So we got ourselves two great Ant emperor penguins. You tribute him, special two penguin monsters from your deck, except for another copy of himself. He doesn't even summon him face down. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's a level five, uh, 18 hitter. So uh, I, I guess he's okay. Uh, triple photon thrasher. I mean, it, it's a 21 beater, but with no extra deck, this is kind of looking crazy. <laughs> we have double nightmare penguin. Oh, the first Yu Gi Oh memories. Um, all face-up water monsters you control gain 200 attack. When this card is flipped face up, target one card your opponent controls. Oh, one card! It's not. It's not just any monster. It's a card your opponent controls. Return to the hand. Uh, you see, I'm I'm starting to see the speed of the deck or the uh, the power of the deck. You know, return to cards. You know, you know, <laughs> we we got a badass over here returning cards instead of actual monsters. You know. Um, we got ourselves a guard penguin. If you watch my Duel Saga opening, this this boy made um, a freaking cameo at the end. Uh, when you take damage from a card effect, except during damage, you special on this card from your hand and gain damage, life points equal to the damage you took. This definitely will work with your Blazing Mirror Forces that you see here at the bottom. But let's keep going. We got ourselves three note penguins. Oh, no, not three. Two note penguins, all right? Note penguin is the card you want to go into. During either player's turn, when a penguin effect is activated, special summon this card from your graveyard. All right, so he, he he keeps himself alive. He can only use his effect once per turn. If a if a card will be returned from the field to the hand by the effect of a penguin card, banish it instead. So <laughs> instead of uh, casually sending back uh, cards and monsters to your opponent's hand, you slap that thing to the banish zone, boy. All right, we got ourselves triple penguin knight, man. Triple Penguin Knight. I, I, I don't know how to feel about this. Bro literally does nothing for the deck. <laughs> At this point, you, he's like he's just really just saying, like, screw you and screw everything you love, screw everything you believe in. Penguin Knight is meta, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, then we go into the MVP of the deck, the Triple Penguin Soldier. You do not mess with this boy, all right? You know, he's basically Penguin Knight, except uh, he actually gives you the hands, all right? Pen Penguin Knight just sits there looking cool, but Penguin Soldier is who gives you the hands, all right? He sends back two monsters, or up to two monsters when he flip face up. He could target himself if he wanted. He could target two monsters of yours if he wanted. He could target two monsters for his. He could target one of yours and one of his. Any two monsters on the field, back to the hand. We're going back to the days of the first Yu-Gi-Oh, all right? And this is definitely the epitome of what the first Yu-Gi-Oh was. It's, he, he was like, <laughs> the, he, he was way better than Maneater Bug, okay? Screw Maneater Bug, all right? Screw Hain Hain or Hane Hane or however it's pronounced. Penguin Soldier was the MVP flip monster of the first Yu-Gi-Oh, all right? We got ourselves a Max C. The meta is still very fast. You don't want to get, you, you don't want your penguins to get trampled, all right? Max C is pretty lit. Carter Demise, all right? You draw until you have three cards in your hand, and then for the rest of the turn, uh, your opponent takes no damage, and uh, during the end of the turn, um, you drop your entire hand. You cannot special summon the turn you activate this card. Obviously, penguins don't special summon other than no penguin, but that's not really a problem. We have ourselves a pot of duality, uh, POD, if, uh, if, if any of you are friends of uh, new metal. But still. We, we got ourselves a singular pot of the body and a single card in the mind. So, you know, it's something you want to see, like, not too often, but it definitely helps when you get it. Okay, we got ourselves triple right Geki Break. Like, this like this guy is, like, the 
this guy's just a meme right now, okay? <laughs> he's, he's, he's just saying, screw your board, screw your monsters, and screw that one card that Nightmare Penguin is going to send back to the hand, or even banish if no penguins on the field. <laughs> and he has triple red decky break, bro. You do not mess with this guy, all right? Instead of playing triple twin twisters, this guy opted to play triple red decky break. Look, if you're going to play this, real talk, just play triple twin twister. Because you have all these mirror forces, and you have all these cards that get rid of um, monsters and everything. You can just play triple twin twister. Uh, you're still going to discard. You pop two instead of one, and it gets rid of Royal Decree. Just, but but that's but that's just my opinion. All right, you should play Triple Twin Twister instead of Triple Regeki Break. But you know, if you chain Regeki Break to said Royal Decree, then you'll also be fine. You know, Regeki Break does stop a lot of boards. It does have the popping power, which to, can stop the right card at the right time. You know, you can stop True Dracos from pop from activating their field spell. You know, they activate it. You're like, okay, pop, and then True Dracos are stuck with a hand of only five cards instead of four. I mean, five cards instead of six. I said five instead of four. Okay, it's triple storming mirror force. As if, as if we didn't have enough cards to send cards back to the hand, we are sending even more monsters back to the hand with these stormings. Okay, uh, we have triple reckless greed, man. Draw power is essential. We need to keep on looping these penguins. All right, draw power is essential. Triple reckless greed. I remember when uh, Patrick Coben said that this card was almost a staple, but you know, nowadays. And Penguins, this guy must have taken a page or two out of Patrick Hova's book, The Top of Penguins, man. Or to even play them in general, man. So, Triple Workless Greed, I, I definitely do like it. Uh, triple Quaking, the card that's going to make sure your opponent's monsters stay face down. They have their booty up. Face down, man. Uh, triple Mirror Force, the OG. Um, you can't run Mirror Forces without playing <laughs> actual Mirror Force. I'm just joking. Of course you can. Uh, you, you play triple mirror force, and triple mirror force uh, definitely is always a destructive force to deal with. And then after that, we have these drowning mirror forces. Why destroy them when you can make them suffocate underwater? Um, it sends your opponent's monsters, or the attack mission monsters your opponent controls back into the deck when they attack. But it has to be a direct attack. So in case you are left defenseless, you have your drowning mirror force to shuffle these bad boys back into the deck. And then, last but not least, we have our Blazing Mirror Forces. Um, it does the same as regular Mirror Force, except both players take the take damage equal to the equal to half the combined attack of all the destroyed monsters. So let's say you have two monsters with one of 1,800, one of 2,000. They both get destroyed. I take uh, 1,900 because it would be 3,800 total, and then half of that is 1,900. And then after I take 1900, you would take the 1900. But if you use Guard Penguin, neither player takes damage because, um, well, actually, actually both both players would still take damage because I, I thought Guard Penguin would stop the damage, but it's after you take the damage that he activates. So he, he, he would gain you it back. So you, so you wouldn't lose anything. Your opponent would lose 1,900. Their board is wiped. And you have a guard penguin on your side of the field. With a very, very strong, very beautiful zero attack to attack your opponent directly after their board got wiped from that blazing mirror force. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know why, I, why I'm even doing this video. But, you know, just some breaking news for you guys. Penguins. Got sixth place at locals somewhere, somehow. I don't know how bad these players are. Uh, they, this dude actually wrote his matchups on Zodiac Duelist. Let's see uh, what we're dealing with here. Uh, he said that he two old Gradle Dino, Gradle and Dinosaurs. Um, I don't know how that works. He two old Nimble Zodiacs. Okay, he beat Zoo. That automatically means that this deck must be meta. Okay, he beat Zoo, and then he two old. Pure Zoo in round three. Like, he, this, this deck has to be meta, okay? L look at all these Mirror Forces, the Card Demise, the Maxi, that is the imprint of meta, all right? He's, uh, round four, he got too old by Spellbooks. He said that he lost the dice roll, so unfortunately he was not able to set up these dank Mirror Forces in time. And lastly, round five, um, he got a tiebreaker against 
um, paleo arm offering paleo cosmo is what he calls it. So uh, I, I guess that's uh, that's all I got to say for now. A uh, beautiful uh, penguin uh, deck to try out um, if if you ever have the time or the sanity to try out penguins and <laughs> you just want to be a troll online or you want to troll your friends. Build this deck up. It doesn't look very expensive. The only the, the only expensive cards we're really talking about here are the card demise and uh, maybe the drownings. It, it, I don't know how expensive drownings still are. Everything else here, I mean, quakings are like five dollars for for a common, maybe four to five for a common. Everything else here is pretty damn cheap. It's like a few cents if you get lowest rarity. So, um, yeah, I, I guess it's all for. Oh yeah, storming, storming also went up. Uh, it's like three to four right now uh yeah it's, it's, it's another mirror force i mean i'm, I'm sure people already like if, if you get the mirror forces you already have half the deck <laughs> or pretty much the whole deck pretty much um yeah still though it's it's pretty cool to see stuff like this happen i mean it's not, not every day we get a, a pengu <laughs> topping uh locals but I, I mean this this i don't i don't know why i even made this such to be a big deal it's just it's just penguins with a bunch of trap cards i mean i'm surprised i didn't see triple magic cylinder in here anyway finally final time last time this is this was your boy nature here signing out peace